back once again. I just want to talk about breeding. People always asking me how come I'm so successful when it comes to breeding and why do I have birds that make good parents when theirs don't. So, pretty much to answer that question, I breed in a colony in a group. So because I breed in a group, all my birds learn from each other. They watch each other and they see each other three babies. So that's what's going on. Okay, I even have baby Goodians feeding other baby Goodians. Yes, you heard me correct. If you've never seen that before, I'm going to put that in the video next. Okay, matter of fact, look at this. See what I'm saying? So because they're being raised all together, they're all witnessing everyone being parents feeding their offspring and when they're that young already catching on and feeding can you imagine when they get old enough and they're ready to be parents they would be good baby uh, parents so that's another reason why I don't have most of my birds do not kick their offspring out or abandon them like everybody else a problem if you're raising them with shaft tails not shaft tails excuse me society fences or hand feeding them don't ever expect your birds to be great parents because they're not learning how can they learn to be great parents when they're not even being exposed to it? Some do, don't get me wrong, but most birds, um, they need to catch on it by seeing their own raise young, feed them and stuff like that. They have to experience that. If they never experience that, it's gonna, catch, it's gonna take them a while to catch on. But I just wanted to point that out real quick because some people can't believe that I had offspring feeding, feeding offspring and then out of nerve to say, well, maybe the one offspring in there looked like he was an offspring because he was stuck in his moat or some shit like that. <laughs> you saw the video for yourself. You tell me.